Let us solve this question on semi interquartile range or the quartile deviation for ungrouped data. The data below shows the ages of 10 employees in a certain company. So the data is there. Given the semi interquartile range of the data is 8 and that A is equals to 1 for 5B, find the values of A and B. To solve this question, you need to understand how to calculate interquartile range for ungrouped data. The first thing you should do to the set of data that you're given is to arrange it either in ascending or descending order. When I look at this data, it is already arranged in um, this one is from the largest to the smallest. You can see that uh, 40, 38, so it is in the right order. You can see from the largest, the smallest. It should be arranged either from the largest, the smallest, or from the smallest to the largest. But the second thing you should do is to divide that set of data into two halves. So I can, t I can see these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 values. So I can divide uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 exactly at the middle here, so that I will have two halves. This is the upper half where we have big values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then on the other right hand side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this side to the right is the lower half. Then to the left is the upper half. Now to get a uh, semi interquartile range, this is the formula we use. Semi interquartile range is given by Q3 minus Q1 divided by 2. So what is Q1? Q1 is the median of the lower half. So the median of the lower half. The median of the lower half. The lower half is here beginning from 25 all the way to 18. So what is the median? The median is uh, directly here. You can see it. The median, the middle value, it is B. So Q1 is B. Then Q3 is the median of the upper half. The upper half is here, where we have big values. So the median is uh, A. So Q3 is equals to A. Now you have Q1 and you have Q3. So having that, now you will proceed and get uh, the semi interquartile range is given by Q3, which is uh, A, then Q1 is B, then divide by 2. And you're given that this semi interquartile range is 8. So this one should be equivalent to 8. So multiplying both sides by 2, you get A minus B is equals to 16. Now you can't get the value of A and B in this equation since you have two unknowns so it means we must have something else and is here you're given that a is given by 1 and 4 over 5b so you can convert this one to an improper fraction this will be 9 over 5b uh, multiplying both sides by 5 you get 5a is equals to 9 Bringing everything to the left hand side, you shall have 5a minus 9b is equals to 0. So you have the second equation. So you solve now this equation and this one simultaneously. So let us do that. So you know how to solve uh, equations, a simultaneous equation. So you have a minus b is equals to 16 uh, and 5a minus 9b is equals to 0. So I can multiply to eliminate A to make A uniform here. I will multiply this by 5 to make this on 5A so that I can eliminate that. So to doing that, I will have uh, 5A minus 5B is equals to 80. Multiplying the whole equation 1 by 5. Then the second one is 5A minus 9B is equals to 0. Once we've done that, we can now uh, subtract so negative 5b subtract negative 9b this will give uh, 4b which is 80 and b from here will be b will be 20 b will be 20 after getting b now we just need to take this one and get a 
a is a is 9 over 5b so a is equals to 9 over 5 times b and b is 20 and this will give uh, 36 so a is 36 and b is 20 and that is how you're supposed to solve Simbo. that question Simbo. Simbo. Simbo.